He didn't say it, but the way he might have said it was in a tone of dismissing the question. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know those answers. I don't know those questions. I don't know that answer uh, right now. Like, it's almost blowing off the question. Other than that, I just think he completely misremembers what he said to the media and how he said it. It's funny because I can make another Seinfeld reference to this, and it's George Costanza saying, "It's not a lie." <laughs> Unless you believe it's a lie. Um, no, but not listen. a lie if you believe it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I listen. Uh, and this is where, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really. The, the part that I didn't like from Doc is when he went on that whole tangent about like everyone's pushing their narratives and blah. It's like, right. well, no, you said what you said. So with all due respect, Mark, like if. Even if he meant it like that, like let, right. let's just say, for instance, he meant it like like he said today, where yeah. he was just dismissing the question. That was the thing. Right. You have to know you're Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is a smart dude. He's been around the game forever. He played in New York. He coached in Boston and L.A. He knows what it's like, the media scrutiny and what happens. When you are asked about Ben Simmons being the point guard on a championship team, you have to know – that any answer you give other than yes is going to get some type of reaction. Mm -hmm. So not that it, to put it in some context and defend him, defend it to defend him this much. I do think that that, that it was blown out of proportion. That's a fair way to word it. I do think that some people took it and ran with it a little bit too much and made too big of a deal out of it, but he said it. I mean, there's no, it's no carrying on a narrative. When he said it, we all tweeted it or we all wrote about it. Mm -hmm. And then a couple days or whatever, I guess it was a day later when they do the exit interviews, he says, I talked to Ben Simmons. It was good. We had a good conversation. I'm, quote, still bullish on Ben Simmons. We all tweeted that. We all wrote that. It's not – how can you blame the media when it's just people reacting to what you are saying? Right. And what happens is when fans react to stuff – out, let's pick it up. It goes viral. That's the world we live in. So, of course, the quote about you saying you don't know about Ben Simmons being a championship point guard compared to you saying you're still bullish on him, of course, the more controversial one is the one that everyone sees and reads. Like, uh, like I, I just uh, – him saying that he was misrepresented I don't think is fair. And I'm someone who respects Stock Rivers. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't take cheap shots. It's not my style, not the way I do business, but – um, I, I just think it was a little unfair the way he kind of pushed the blame on the media for that today. I, I totally agree with you because I know there's a lot of things you could you could certainly say was the media slant. The quote was printed. It wasn't a made-up quote. Everybody saw it. In heard city, it. In this city, not only are we listening and reading about press conferences in the, in the newspaper or on the radio, whatever it might be, we're watching the clips on social media. Like, we all see it ourselves. Like, that's how it works nowadays. And plus, if you're Doc Rivers... Do you ever think to yourself for a second that maybe being contradictory of yourself, maybe being a little hypocritical of yourself, led people to take that to the next level, especially when earlier in the playoffs you said you laughed at and you scolded the media member that was like, you want me to take Ben Simmons out of a game? You want me to take Ben Simmons out of a game? Oh, what am I supposed to do? Put him on the bench? And then you literally put him on the bench for the same reason that the media was asking you about. So it's a lot of like, Doc, are you coming or going, man? It's a lot of mixed messages from the Sixers head coach. Right, and I think what's so weird about it too, Mark, is like the truth would have sufficed here. Like all you had to say is, look, that answer, it was after a game seven. We were all emotional. The question, you know, whatever. You get the question caught you off guard, whatever. You weren't prepared to answer in that moment. And, you know, if you had a chance to do it over, you would answer it differently. And then say a bunch of nice things about Ben Simmons. <laughs> say you want him back. That would have worked. Like, I don't know why he had to, like, frame it. That Like, why did he feel the need to rewrite the history of that day? Like, it's just so weird to me. I mean, like, why, why is everyone, Mark, trying to rewrite the history of that day? We all saw what happened. We all saw Ben Simmons pass up a dunk. We all heard what Doc Rivers said. We all heard what Joel Embiid said. Like, I, I just – I can't wrap my brain around the fact that he just, like, he, he felt the need to kind of – I don't want to say lie because I guess that's not – I don't want to accuse him of being a liar. But, like, to frame it that way when I think just saying – I think my my comments were blown out of proportion as opposed to saying, 
you know, you were misrepresented and that the media ran with their own narratives. Like, no, we didn't run with our own narratives. We <laughs> ran with the narrative of the head coach of the basketball team mm-hmm. that we cover who made a comment about the second best player on the team. Like, I, it's just, it, it boggles my mind. Like, that, I don't know why he felt the need to go that route, why he couldn't have just, just, just told it like it was and told the truth. 